I wonder what creek we'll be fishing today. everyone and welcome back to another episode of Femboy Fishing. Right now I'm on the Florida coast and uh, today we're going to be catching some saltwater fish. I figured I'll give you guys a break from all of the Missouri Creek fish that I've been catching for most of season one. So this isn't actually the first time I tried filming today. Uh, I went fishing with my dad earlier and uh, we didn't really catch anything. I wasn't seeing much down over in the last spot. I decided to come down to this spot since yesterday I was catching little rock fishes and things down here. So I'm also going to be fishing with two fishing poles. So basically we have one pole, probably this pole, the little bobber on it. And this one I'm going to be using as a bait pole and uh, just setting this one out on the side. And then this one is going to be my lure pole. We may or may not use these at the same time. I'm just going to kind of play by ear. We'll just try this out and see how this will go. So basically, at least for right now, I'm going to try to fish off of these little rocks. I noticed there's a lot of fish that kind of hang out underneath these rocks and on the side. And since we're right next to a big cruise ship port, a lot of fish kind of congregate around these areas. Yesterday, I actually caught a bar jack down here, which I did not know was a poisonous fish. And somehow I touched it without getting stung, but uh, I'm hoping I don't catch another one of those today since they are kind of dangerous. Keep in mind, there could be a chance that I catch something and I don't know what it is. So we're gonna start out just lure fishing. And uh, basically I'm gonna be doing what I did yesterday at this spot, which is taking this little silver jig right here and kind of jigging it up and down the rocks. We'll try this out. Oh, got one. I got a fish. He's kind of fat too. So I don't know exactly what these fish are. Uh, I thought they were... Well, uh, he freed himself. <laughs> oh, that's a big cruise ship. I wonder if any of them wave at me. I am so confused. So I decided to switch this little tube kind of walker lure thing. I heard these work really well for a couple different species of saltwater fish that are in here. And because it's heavier, I think it should go down a little bit deeper to where some of these fish are. So we'll try this out. <sighs> All right, well, I lost that last lure. So I decided to switch to this little white rooster tail. Now, I know rooster tails are typically a freshwater lure, all right, but hear me out. I brought a couple of my freshwater lures with me and I was using them yesterday and I noticed that some of them actually work really well. Some lures do work, although it isn't recommended, but I figured you can't go wrong with a rooster tail in freshwater, so why not try it in salt water? So, Got something. Oh my goodness, he's fighting hard. Holy, that just totally threw me off guard. It's a sea trout. I think that's what it is. It's a spotted sea trout. Oh my goodness, it totally threw me off guard. I'm trying to hold him the best I, I can. I think he's a spotted sea trout. That's what he looks like he is. Gosh, he is beautiful. I love his little orange spots. I'm not going to show them for too long for you guys here because I don't want to keep him out of the water for too long. He's really aggressive. He totally threw me off guard. Such a beautiful fish. 
I love them. Okay, so right now I'm standing on top of a culvert that comes out into the ocean. I'm coming a little more prepared this time. If we catch another fish like that again, I'm gonna probably get out of the frame and get down close to the water to land it. I'm still gonna be using the rooster tail because it does work. I'm just gonna try to be a bit more careful with it, so. Oh, already again, I got a fish first cast. Oh no, is it a, if this is what I think it is, I gotta be careful. Okay, so I got him off. I use my pliers and kind of jig the hook out. I'm actually kind of amazed at how effective this rooster tail is, although I really am hoping I don't catch any more bar jacks because I do not want to get stung. The ocean is a little bit dangerous, but let's see if we can get something that maybe isn't dangerous. So I decided to switch to this little Rough Rider spoon. It's kind of funny, I'm using things that most people would use to catch freshwater trout and I'm using them to catch saltwater trout. Now, for those of you watching, I don't recommend using freshwater lures. The water can be especially corrosive, especially to surfaces that have metal and things. So I figure I could always replace this one if I need to. So I'll go ahead and try this out and see if this gets their attention. Right, guys so change of plans the only fish i kept catching over and over and over again on my spinners and spoons was bar jack and uh i don't really particularly feel like catching a poisonous fish over and over again i can't really show you guys the fish that i catch because it's poisonous i decided we're just gonna go to the beach i might try fish in the surf and just let a bait line out but we're just gonna kind of chill out a little bit oh I guess we're not allowed to fish on the beach. Well, this is the Atlantic Ocean. Which actually, up until this trip, I have never been to the Atlantic Ocean. I came down to this beach yesterday, so it's not like this is my first time or anything, but when I was younger, I used to live on the Pacific Ocean. Since we're not allowed to fish down here, I decided instead of looking for fish, why don't we look for seashells? Shells are pretty cool. I haven't seen a whole, whole lot of them, especially larger ones. Ooh, that looks pretty. See that? That's kind of cool. I've seen a few of those laying around. Look at this little one right here. It's kind of broken up, but that's pretty. There's a little smaller one too. This one looks like it's fully intact. Thank you guys for watching Found Boy Fishing Season 2, Episode 1. I'm probably going to have to find a better way to address that, aren't I? Sorry for this episode being kind of uneventful. I think because of my lack of experience, we didn't catch very much here, but that's okay. As always, be sure to leave any comments or suggestions or anything else you guys might want me to say. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later. Music